Hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Max Payne for the PC. A little background on this game, it was released back in 2001 for the PC, PS2, and Xbox. And the one thing that always stood out about this game, besides the plot, the characters, the film noir slash Norse mythology references, is actually the bullet time, which means you have the ability to slow down time and show off your moves. For example, say if Max is in a big gunfight, right, and you pause in the middle of that gunfight, the camera will actually pan around Max, and you can actually see the bullet come out of the gun, and the flashes of light from the gun, and Max's face reactions, which is truly epic. So, like any other game, let's start a new one. We're going to be playing on DOA, which is Dead on Arrival, because I have played through the other modes already. And once you've beaten the game, you can unlock a secret level after the credits roll. And New York Minute mode is basically what it says, you have a limited time to clear each level. It's pretty fun, but I think Dead on Arrival is a lot more challenging. The story to this game is absolutely phenomenal. The gameplay was out of this world for its time too. Standby, 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Asa Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years, back to the night the pain started. And this is how the majority of the story is told, through graphic novels, which I think is probably one of the most creative ways of telling a story. I was still in the force back then, NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Okay, now this is the only time you're gonna see Max wearing his suit, at least for this portion of the game. But there's his iconic leather coat. What the hell? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall, a map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Max, I don't think I would have had the same reaction as you. I probably would have gone crazy by now. This house looks a bit ransacked. Let's answer the phone, Max, because that's the first thing we do during a break-in. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? That was a sinister voice. Look in here, there's a shotgun. You know there's something I don't get about you, Max. You work for the NYPD, right? So why would you need a complete stranger to call 911 for you when you have the means of protecting yourself and your family? 
Michelle! Don't worry, Michelle, I got a shotgun. Let's go save her. Michelle! Door's blocked. Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! Coming. Give him bullets, Max. He'll freeze. No. No, no, please, God, no. Now, this scene scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. But guaranteed, in today's gaming world, you can't get away with putting a dead baby in a video game. And, Max, why do you have a bloody baseball bat in the corner of your room? Aw, oh, we're too late now, Max. No, no, no. Let me go God, get his gun. No, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Okay, this is a good place to stop. In the next episode, we will explore the subway. See you then.